everybody so how are you all doing today it's so nice to have you back here because I'm super excited about the content that I'm rolling out this summer I have some very fabulous uh, video ideas for you guys tutorials are gonna be a definite easy breeze to film and then I will be getting off at a very decent hour so filming any kind of talking videos should be a real breeze to film as well and then of course I will have a day per week where I can go to yoga easily and of course I can go to yoga at 6 p.m. So I'm so happy with my schedule. It's just phenomenal and I get such a great opportunity to make good money. So anyways, I, where was I? Oh, I promised one of my subscribers, longtime subscribers that I was going to do um, a lip video, which I recently did. Uh, we'll link it in the bottom bar and includes everything you need to know. I don't show a lot of lip application in my lip combo videos because it just takes a lot of time to do lips sometimes, much longer than you think. And it's monotonous and detailed and all you really need to know is the steps for the most part on how to do lips. I think we as women just, we get lipstick like that. You can be your first time applying makeup and you, girl, you got it. So um, I haven't felt a real need to be like, Ugh. I hope you understood what I was saying that whole time. I think I tutorials are a little bit more like here, let's do some show and tell because you know, blending colors and all that stuff. So I don't know, maybe we should do a lip video where we're blending six colors. That's kind of why I like summer lip videos. Summer lip video, that's where it's at. You throw in your pinks, your nudes, you can throw in everything. I think summer is just a time to reinvent yourself and go all out and find your new style that year. I really think summer sets the tone for your new style that year. And um, that's typically when we go clothing shopping the most and it's when all the fun, amazing stuff is on the racks. We get really inspired by the flowy, silky garments and we have a tendency to wear those until we can't wear them, it, you know, until we can't wear them. We definitely, I think as humans, we feel ourselves when we get to bust into the color, bust into the fun, not worry about work so much, get the fun pedicures and put on the flowy garments. I think human beings as a rule need to feel free and I think that's why summer is so big. So, um, that being said, because summer is such a freeing season for me, I wear whatever the heck I want, and that means dark colors too. And this season, I'm huge into lips, honey. I'm huge into the lips because, uh, I don't know, I work at a salon, it's a natural salon, and I don't always want to express myself with bold eyeshadow because it's not something I carry at the salon. And when I don't carry that look at the salon, why am I gonna put it on my face? And share that with you and be like, oh, tease you a little bit, you know? Yeah, okay, of course. Of course we can stick that on you. Not. Fair is fair. Even I have a weekend look. So that's why I have a tendency uh, as well to get very expressive when I'm bartending. But at that exact same time, it's much more easier to touch up between clients in a salon because you can't really stop and pause when you're waiting tables. So I always want to do a little bit more lip. And also, what I think the majority of people look good in is what I want to put on my own face because like I said, if I'm wearing something that I don't think looks good on a lot of people, I don't want to put it on my face and make y'all look bad. So uh, I'm not saying y'all don't have my face, blah, 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 blah. But when you're dealing with a young eye and you're doing a perfect wing and liner, it's just not going to look that, in my opinion, it's not going to translate on a 60 to an 80 year old face. So I tend to not really wear a winged liner when I'm working in a salon. I'm just so rambly. I feel like I need to share a lot of my life with you. Is this still a lip favorites video? Burgundy lips, I'm all about it. I have purchased a gorgeous, I'm talking gorgeous girl, dark wine lipstick from Wet n Wild. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Yes, this one. Anyways, this lipstick itself inspired my newfound trend of dark red lips. This is a beautiful red, don't get me wrong. It's very nourishing and feels really supple on the lips. And it stays on a long time too, but it's still at the same time not my, I'm gonna reach for it, go to red. This is one of those great reds to wear in the summertime because it's super, super buttery. 
and um, like I said, it'll still feel nourishing. But for the majority of people and for long lasting, lovable, delicious wear, I highly have to say this Bite Beauty and it's the Bite Beauty High Pigment Lip Pencil in Bramble. I love this pencil and I don't have a lip liner um, inside my lips, it's just outside the lip line. So this is the true color of Bramble. And what I like about it is because, oh, it is so high pigmented, so long lasting. I only touched up right before this video and I barely needed to do that. I just slightly refreshed the color. And um, like I said, if you go in with a dark color, what I look for is a very firm, dense consistency. I want it to have that long wearing. I, I don't want to feel like a slave to a dark lip. I just want it to work. And most of the time, dark lips are very staining. So they definitely provide that for me. So I definitely love me some dark lips. I don't feel like I have to be overly careful with it because they do stain. Um, so usually when I opt for a dark lip, it's because I think they look great on most people. They're a little bit more bold and daring. And um, you know, I, I like to show people that you can rock a bold lip and not be overdone. Okay, so speaking of dark bold lips, I think we all need that dark amazing bold lip to um, translate into something tropical sometimes. This is a little rich for the beach, I'm telling you. So I have a kind of a fallback when I'm not feeling vampy. I have the Obsessive Compulsive Lip Liner in anime and this is the lip liner equivalent of the Lip Tar and I, I love this pencil. Not only do I love the Lip Tar, but the lip tar is a bit trickier to apply, just saying, and then they're not super travel friendly. They do stay on all day, so you, you don't have to apply a ton with that. I'll usually apply a lip tar at home if I'm wearing one, and then I'll put a lip gloss on when I'm out all day long. I won't even bother to take the lip tar with me, I'm going to be honest with you, because they're in a funny tube and I don't want it to run, explode, or get overheated. So that's usually what I do, and it, it always works, to be honest with you. But um, I love this color. Don't you love that color? Anyways, you can color in your whole lips with this, so you can rock it as a pencil or a lip color. Um, I bought, I started buying a lot more drugstore just to appease myself a little bit. You know, sometimes you gotta give yourself some slack and have a little bit of fun. I've been buying more drugstore. And I don't live near a Sephora, which is fine. I don't need to blow money on Sephora, I really don't. And I can always order online, I haven't been. But I think I do need to amp up my drugstore a little bit. And I'm taking better care of some of my drugstore things. So um, I've, been, I've, been, I've been having fun with that. I love this color. This, I wanted this one really bad. I just kind of weaned off of getting it because I do have some nice higher end hopping lipsticks. But I didn't have this electric color. This electric color is beautiful. And it looks as expensive as an electric color can be. I mean, let's be real. You're not going to look like you're staying at the Ritz-Carlton in electric paint. Well, maybe you can. Depends on how the rest of your makeup looks. But that being said, it's a really nice formula and it's rich and it's pretty and it just makes everybody happy to look at. You can totally rock this with some false lashes and a little wing and you're good to go and you don't need much else. This is like a sheen, this is a matte. I also really love the Wet n Wild Cherry Pickin' and I've worn this at least once a week since I repurchased it. I kind of left a lot of my drugstore stuff, um, I hate to say this, in the trash at home just because the packaging is weaker and I knew it wasn't going to travel well. And plus, some of my Wet n Wild was a lot older, so I didn't worry about it. I was just like, you know, it's old anyways, and I've just been collecting it, and I don't know, I don't know what I have anymore. I don't know what the age of any of these products are. Right now, I keep all my favorite drugstore lipsticks right here in a mesh bag basket in front of me, and so it's nice. It's it's been easier for me to 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 deal with it. Is that the right word? I'm gonna create a special little case for my drugstore stuff. And it's not because I don't think it's nice, it's just that I want to keep a memory that sometimes when it's not an investment, I don't think about it as much, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. I don't want to sound snobby, but you know, it's just if it's 99 cents, I don't think about it, especially because I'm buying, I'm, if I'm picking up a lipstick, I've usually bought a ton of groceries. Um, cherry picking. Um, God, I'm in love with this color. And every time I wear it, you, you, you all are like, oh my god, what is that? I'm like, it's wet and wild cherry picking. And everybody's just like, I need that. It's beautiful. It looks expensive. It looks, I mean, honestly, I don't think a hot pink to red lip looks super expensive, but this looks fancy on. Okay, so let's delve into nude colors. And my top pick has to be 
Wet n Wilds, will you be with me? And the reason I love this color is because I get asked every single time I wear it, what is that? And uh, so I reach for it a lot. That being said, some of my favorites have a tendency to be everybody else's favorites, which is perfectly fine too. It's always the way it goes. If we are getting mad compliments on a color, we will wear that thing out to death, just because we know it's always gonna be something we can come back to. This is one of those super staple items that look fantastic. It looks fantastic. So anyways, it's not too brown, which I think is why everybody compliments me on it, because everybody's used to seeing me in these boring muted <laughs> brown pink colors. But I am in the tropical panhandle. I need some pink, and this is pink, all classic looking or it's really, really pretty with um, a smoky eye and it just kind of softens the whole look and makes it super wearable um, and smoky. So I like that color a lot. You can really rock that with everything. Alrighty then, so bottom of the ninth, we're gonna do the last five and, oh, dropping stuff. All right, I'm gonna mix it up a little at this point. Um, We've done some lipsticks, we've done some lip liners, we've done some lip pencils, so we're gonna keep on going with the fun. Um, let's finish off with lipsticks. Yes, I went downstairs. Let's finish off with, the, some, with some lipsticks. Um, I'm gonna delve right in. I think this is gonna be the last commercial one. Um, so, last commercial one. Let's do one more nude. And if you're looking for like a yellow base nude, this is it for me. This is your bridal nude. And I know a lot of people go to weddings in the summertime. <laughs> I know a lot of people go to weddings in the summertime. So that being said, this is what I wore at my own little sister's wedding. It's a perfect neutral. This is one of my favorites. It's always going to be the one I'm going to remember. Um, and if you're afraid to go with something that's too pink of a lipstick, um, this is a good one. It isn't, it's got a pearl sheen to it. And I looked everywhere for that perfect nude I could have worn to a wedding. And I settled on this one. This is a beautiful nude. Just be fully aware that it is super nude. So you might wanna put a slightly, um, like a bold kind of muted pink lip liner underneath just to give it a touch of something, something. Um, if you do that and you put this nude right on top, you'll definitely have a real lip. You'll have a visible lip. Um, if you're somebody who's lacking color in their face, this may not be the nude for you unless you have a perfect rosy toned lip liner. It doesn't completely blink out your face. I'll tell you that straight up. This is really the perfect bridal nude because it's got some soft pink and some soft brown in there. So it's not like putting concealer on your mouth at all. Nude, I think there's no one that can't wear a nude. I love nude on everybody. I'm gonna say this right now. I remember there was this one lady in the mall. I thought she looked fantastic with that lipstick on, but she had a real deep tan and she was just like, I hate it, it's disgusting. And I was just like, I love it. And it was, um, Viva Glam Gaga too. And they work really hard to formulate the Viva Glams. And I was just like, I think it's amazing. I, I like that on you. And she was just like, it's so nude. And I was like, I, I love that though. I love that creamy, pretty look where it doesn't completely fade away. And I just like that nice gloss on top. It's not for everybody. It's definitely a gentle look. But um, if you do it right and there's just a touch of color to it, it's actually very attractive. Um, so it's just something to get used to. Nudes are a little on that controversial side. Some people love it or hate it. Just take some time to get used to. Um, so we're gonna do an indie right here. We're gonna do Pumpkin and Poppy, Never Was a Cornflake Girl. And here's the real difference between my favorite commercial nude and one of my favorite indie nudes. You can see the finish of these is very different. It very much is the same color, but you will see that Never Was a Cornflake Girl is a little close to Max Freckle Tone, meaning Max Freckle Tone is very much that wearable nude. It's got some brown undertones to it. Very attractive. This is matte, so you have a little bit more bold color with that than with the Inglot. And the, they discontinued the pencil. This is what they make now with Pumpkin and Poppy. So, just so you know. So there's the Pumpkin and Poppy one. There's a lot of yellow base, a lot of olive undertone. And then you have the Inglot 224. There's a lot of pink undertone. So that's the key difference. So you kind of just roll with that and go with whatever you like. And I could definitely see this nude, nude on um, girl, women of color. If they have um, a very soft kind of maple skin, this would be beautiful because it's got that bronzy deep tone to it. So another one of my favorite um, indies is um, Silk Naturals. I like this way more than I care for 
actually I'm not going to say that, I can't say that about an indie brand because they're small little companies, but let's just say this, um, it's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite indies. It's right up there with Pumpkin Poppy and I have mad respect for Pumpkin and Poppy. I think her collections just get so much better with every single collection she comes out with. She gets amazing. And that's kind of the fun for me with buying Pumpkin and Poppy. I love to see her growth and she amazes me every time. And the fact that each collection is even better than the one before even further amazes me. So I love her stuff. Uh, it's real amazing to see her growth with all her collections. And I'm not saying this because I never thought her, her stuff's always been really good. She's always put amazing quality into it. But she just grows and she strives and she is creative. And I love to see her collect, I love to see her creativity grow too. It all, she just, she's a real artist. So I love that. And um, as an artist, I love that. So, and of course, whenever we're buying from brands, even Too Faced has grown over the years. We've seen it go from not really knowing its direction to being like all candy collection. But Silk Naturals is another one of my favorites. And they do amazing dupes of amazing favorites. Um, they do, they have like a vegan version of the Naked Palettes 1, 2, and 3. And just all this fun stuff. B52 is one of my favorite lipsticks and it's very similar to me to um, Vegas Vault from MAC. It's got the same finish and everything. And it's very similar to Spa Ritual's Last Tango or OPI's Cajun Shrimp. So there's some good comparisons there of all these colors that are in the vein of that kind of Cajun-y, you know, orange. And I love it. I just love this color. Um, B52, that is. Um, and I have Lois from Silk Naturals. No, that's not Lois. Where's my Lois? There she is, I love Lois. So here's my Lois. And it's all, I have it actually up in here in the stash with me up here because I don't want to forget it. Because I have a tendency to forget it because it's just a fun nude. But that's Lois. I love Lois, that's B52 and Lois. You can see the comparisons on all these finishes are all really great quality. You can get it at Target now and it's Pacifica. This is one of my favorite glosses. This is Nudist. I wear this with a lot of nudes that just need that touch of something extra. It's like, oh, I'm feeling a little corpsey. Okay, this is the one I go to. And then I like the doe foot on here as well. It's packed very tightly. It's a cute little sponge. So it picks up a decent amount of product without absorbing too much and it doesn't have that controversial brush that people hate. I love that brush. Personally, I love that brush. So that's nudist. So you could see how much color I can grab. And you could put this over nudes, you could put this over naturals, and you could even put it over pinks. And it's got a nice sheen to it. It's a beautiful sheen. And um, they're not tingly either. I have to mention I've been revisiting and using these all summer long. Um, and they are the Sexy Mother Pucker glosses. I definitely like um, Bon Bon a lot because it's a nude and you can wear it over everything. And there's not a lot of color with the Sexy Mother Pucker, so there's no point in swatching it. But um, if you do go for the colors over a colored lipstick, um, what I like about them is I hate using a clear gloss over every single lipstick I have because the clear gloss gets kind of gross. So I like to kind of work with lip glosses that are in the vein of a lip color I'm working with. And this one does have a si subtle silver sheen, so it does add a touch of something more. And usually a, sh a glass with a sheen does make your lips look a little fuller. And this one still has that really heavy, puckery, you know, it's, 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 it's intense. And um, they have one that's even more intense than this that I want to try. I can handle the puck, er, baby, I can handle it. So if you're not afraid of some mad tingle, go for these. But what I really like about the tingle ones is I find them naturally exfoliating. Um, they leave your lips feeling really soft and smooth. So if you can handle the tingle for a little bit, your lips look really amazing and they feel really amazing. Anyways. So I hope you enjoyed my lip favorites. I know I showed a couple extra, so it's really supposed to be 10 and then I threw in two for good mention. But um, those were just for showing, comparison, all that fun stuff. Lois was not considered a favorite. Went Wild was not considered a favorite. Went Wild Dark Wine, sorry, was not considered a favorite. And it was a lot of fun. I felt loose. I felt, you know, loose. So yeah, we got a bridal favorite. We got some fun favorites. We got some rich colors. We got those great summer nudes and a, and some corals, so I feel good about this. And you you guys have a great summer, by the way, and let me know what you want to see in the next favorite videos. I also have a fun one coming up. I'm working with Content Boulevard right now, and they're sending me a lot of fun stuff to review. Um, I'm not reviewing it for the sake of like selling out or getting mentioned. I never check websites to see if I'm getting any mentions or anything like that. I can't even find myself on Madam Glam. I'm, I'm there, but I just can't find myself. But um, that being said, I sincerely use 
the Madame Glam foundation every day. I'm wearing it right now and I love their stuff. I'm right now, I'm building my kit and I can't afford everything. So when I accept products for review, it's because I genuinely need it and I'm gonna use it. And I don't take anything I don't want. Trust me, I'm not greedy that way. Um, that being said, I'm working with Content Boulevard right now. They're sending me amazing stuff a lot right now. And um, it's stuff I genuinely think is great and want to review. And there's a lot of cruelty-free options on there. So that's also why I'm kind of on there very often. So it's easier that way. And I really love, you know, what the whole YouTube makeup community is bringing. They're bringing a lot of American-made indie and, and cruelty-free and vegan brands to the surface. So I think it's fabulous. I'm 100% on board for that. I know they're lesser known. I know you're not going to see it in a big name store. But I'm just really happy that there's vegan cosmetics. And um, I'm also, um, they sent me something really wonderful right now um, to review for you guys. Actually, I'm going to have him review it and um, tell you guys what we think of it. Um, the Treasure Island. This is the Ala Toilette Por Home. And um, it's really cute. You want to see it? Looks like a little rum bottle. And the scents in here are amazing. It smells like pineapple. I looked it up. It's American made. It's got fruit fragrances in it. So this is like kind of like a fruity. It's like it's it's it's, a, it's almost as if Pacifica got with a cologne line and said, let's just make um, a pineapple rum um, swirthy man's cologne. And it's really yummy. So I think he's really gonna like this. And there's a touch of sandalwood in there too. There's vanilla, there's musk, there's blossoms in there. It is rich, I almost wanna wear it, but it is a little masculine and um, beautiful quality, very unusual, very fruity. And I like it that it's American made. I doubt he's gonna wanna be on camera, but we'll talk about it for him. And I'm also gonna be getting a beard oil real soon. I'm gonna have him review that, whether it's in a blog, probably gonna be in a blog. And um, I'll just share his thoughts so you guys can kinda shop for your man. If you want, it's cool. If you don't, I'll see you later. Bye.